Hey everyone, this is Kieran from Eccentric Physio. Today's exercise is looking at building some internal and external rotation of our glenohumeral joint or our shoulder. So that's the ability for our arm to spin in like this or spin out. Um, it's a nice exercise if you're finding that some of the other exercises for internal and external rotation are aggravating. This can be a slightly less aggravating exercise, so it's a good option for a grumpy shoulder or like a loud shoulder. Um, and you might find it allows you just to get some of that movement back while also building some coordination. So where this exercise might be useful is when you're trying to improve internal and external rotation of your shoulder. Sometimes doing the exercises down in these areas can be uh, aggravating, and that might be just because some of those tissues that um, are lengthened in this position aren't that happy with that movement. And if we think about a lot of those rotation muscles around the shoulder, particularly like the rotator cuff and some of those deltoid muscles, um, even the pec to some degree, we're gonna see that if we're in this position, that we're actually able to do a rotation where all those tissues are not equal in length, but none of them are having to curve over the angle of the shoulder, so to speak. Everything's sort of going straight out this way. So coming this way. And it's not perfectly, perfectly straight, but for a shoulder that's stiff, and stiff could be for many reasons. You know, we could be having like a degenerative tendon. We could have you know, like a frozen shoulder situation, like a capsular restriction, um, or it could be like an extrinsic muscle issue, like maybe our lat or our pec is tight for some reason, could be weak, could have had an injury there and not rehabbed it, and its effect on the shoulder means that there's a limited sort of range of movement. Um, but if, if you identify that maybe it's a little bit more of a rotatory cuff thing, then you might find this exercise really useful. So you're just gonna lay on your side, and by bringing your hand up to the um, 90 degrees abduction here, as you said, all those tissues are in a different sort of length relationship. And I can do a rotation, which otherwise might be aggravating. You can add a little bit of weight and start light, maybe one kilo, maybe even a can of beans. That weight's gonna give you some feedback. It's there to assist, right? It's giving me, it's telling me how to centrate my humeral head inside my glenoid cavity. And that's basically, that's your shoulder joint. And by rotating internally, I'm gonna have a little bit of a shoulder blade sort of protraction elevation. And then as I rotate externally, I'm gonna have a bit of a depression and retraction on my shoulder blade. Don't think too much about what you're doing here. Just hold the weight, rotate it, and let the weight kind of dictate how you react. It's a reactive exercise. And you might just find after rotating a little bit that, oh, some of my muscles get a little bit fatigued, but I'm not aggravated. So, great little exercise if you're finding some of that rotation challenging to get back um, and you've tried some of these other movements like uh, some banded stuff or some of our dumbbell sideline exercises, then this can be a great option to get some of that range back or even just to settle a grumpy shoulder. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here and to check out our latest video, click up here.